What's up, YouTube? Don't forget, vote for Shane at the link down below, Snakes and the Fat Man, 15 Minutes of Lame. Today we're with Moose at the Great Balls of Fryer facility tour. Cue the intro, dive on in. So today we're at the Great Balls of Fryer, here with Moose, Nashville, Tennessee. He's still under a year building his collection, but he's in a project that we recently made a big investment with, and that's the Redhead. So let's check out Moose's Redhead, and he's got a couple other jeans that you don't hear of very often too. So let's go on over into that. So basically when I decided to get into Redhead, um, I was having a conflict. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to make something with a lot of dark jeans or if I wanted to make something with a lot of light jeans. And kind of the back of my mind, I kept on saying, man, maybe there's something that is looks good with both. And I had reached out to someone that I kind of become a mentor over the time, uh, which is Brian Brakes with Breaking Ball Reptiles. Uh, he was the one that got me steering the collection of the Redhead Jean, and it's been the best decision that I've ever made. Uh, the Redhead Jean, if you haven't heard by now from other people that are in the project, it's great with both of them. So I'm tickled to death to have them in my project, and I'm, I'm looking forward to the the future of my breeding progress with uh, definitely with that gene involved. So I know you got some like simple ones and then on up to some more complicated ones. So let's start off with one of your simple redheads and then work our way up. Does that sound good? So unfortunately, everything I have, which is gonna be a staple with everything I do with Great Balls of Fryer, everything will be hypo or head hypo that comes from me. So that's gonna be one recessive where if it's you decide to get one of my animals that you're not gonna to have to worry about. It's one of my favorite recessives and it's automatically gonna be in everything that I decide to breed, so which is good. So everything I'm gonna have and I'm gonna show you today is either gonna be a visual hypo or it's gonna be a head. So we'll start with my base uh, female that I have, which is just going to be the base redhead gene with the head hypo in it. So this is what basically it would look like in its basic form. Uh, she does have a little bit showing the signs of the of the the head hypo in on the sides with the flames and everything but this is what your basic redhead form is going to look and what's so great about it is over time you, you you start to see why it would do so well with some of the lighter jeans like pastel and inchy and fire it does really good with inchy but that's the basic form of it of course she's carrying the the hypo gene as well and then i've also got one of her hatch mates this is a pastel redhead she is 100 percent hypo head hypo as well um i'm very lucky uh with the the examples that i got when it comes to redhead uh because they're it seems like every single one that i've got they are great examples of it so you could see with just adding that little bit of pastel it's amazing what it does to it and how much brighter it makes it with just a little bit of that influence yeah that's great examples of redhead you got here and let's get a little close up on the head all the redheads tend to have that uh well it's kind of a reddish head yeah. Yeah. it's <laughs> almost like a bronze look and you really see it when they when it hits visual yeah you really see where it takes off and and kind of does some great things so now that these are like i said these are the head versions of what uh what hypo does to the redhead about to show you my two breeding pairs that I have. We'll start with the female first. Now this is a this is a redhead hypo. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I like Very, all, all the pixelation. Yes. The granite speckling that they tend to bring in on the sides. Love that. This is a good this is a good example of what it can do with the darker jeans. Uh, like I said, when you get into something like leopard or even wookie or something like that maybe even blackhead uh you could see where those markers and the like i said the granite speckling on the side we call her mardi gras because of her mardi gras hat a mask right there oh yeah <laughs> so but she's great she's a great eater uh what i love about her mostly is her how clean her head is yeah and i really really love that that's what made me stand made it stand out most of all yeah i like how there's that that little like strip right where the dorsal starts. Right. There's like a little strip right there. And it kind of is weird, especially with the with the alien heads that I've noticed. It almost kind of gives you that single, single tooth alien kind of red uh, alien head form. Yeah. Which is not you know something typical you see in the standard gene, 
but I think a lot of that has the hypo play into it. And this is my male. I would say overall, he probably is the best example of what would be with the lights are involved. Um, we call him Oakley because he's got that little Oakley O in the back of his, his oh, head. Because yeah. when they were babies, they were really hard to tell apart. But what I love about him and what I think ultimately makes him special is how spread out looks like his his alien heads in certain spots have just been like spread with a butter knife yeah you, you know? can see it right in here yeah. too how they're all connected yeah. and chained together absolutely definitely love that so these are actually third generation away from the source animal the redhead that nick Val uh, valdez used to breed out to to prove out redhead these are actually the grandfather of the grandsons of that snake, which is pretty awesome. That is very cool. It's not too often in the ball python world that you know like that much heritage about your snakes. You know, right? Absolutely. Yeah. The good thing about it is, especially with uh, getting in the program and getting some of the stuff straight from Brian, is in a five-minute phone call with me, I could show you every snake all the way back to the source with all my redheads. So as you can tell, Moose is strong with hypo, strong with the redhead, but he's got another gene that you don't really hear of. And I really wanted him to show it on here. So what, what's the other gene that you got, Moose? Honestly, I love redhead. I'm not going to get you wrong. I've done a lot of research on it, and I'm really looking forward to that. But what I'm looking forward to with the most is turbo. And I've been fortunate enough to have two good examples of them. I think when it comes down to it, when it comes to uh, turbo, the best way to explain it would be like the non-recessive version of Desert Ghost. Okay. So it really cleans it up, makes it really high contrast, makes it very, very poppy. You know, it's the, the colors are almost giving it that hypo, that desert ghost look. So what, what is this animal right This now? is a turbo ghost. Turbo ghost. Yes. Yeah. So, and, and, and you notice, and we'll, we'll try to break it. My, my male, of course, is in shed. So it's kind of, it's kind of not going to be the best example to show, but I like how, Ultimately, when you see the lighting coming in, the head stamp, that's the first thing that blows up on turbos, especially when you put other genes in it, mm -hmm. is that they just lighten up in all the places that you want them to lighten up. You know, yeah. people like clowns because of what it does to the head stamp. I think turbo pretty much does the same thing. And what's really cool about this is there's a super form that they call twin turbo. And basically, it, it almost... It affects the pattern and the contrast, which makes it great. And I'm ultimately, that's ultimately what I'm looking forward to making is, is the super form of turbo. There have been a few made, uh, but they haven't been proven totally out yet. So I'm hoping to be involved with that as well. So yeah, Moose is on the ground floor of the turbo project. And I'm, I love animals that have good names or genes that have good names. And who wouldn't want a twin turbo? <laughs> I mean, there's like a lot of directions you can go with just the name alone, you know? Right. So Moose. Leave all your socials and all that stuff, brother. So I'm on Facebook, but I'm not on Facebook as much as I'm on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is great underscore balls underscore of underscore fryer. And I believe there's an underscore at the end, but I'm sure if you start getting deep into that or if you look me up under Moose on Instagram, you're going to get that in my, my, public, my personal account as well, which is under Moose. But yeah, that's mainly what I'm working off of is Instagram and uh, news flash I'm working on the first of the year uh, starting a weekly vlog as well hey well thank you moose and moose had me actually stay at his house for a couple days while I was in Nashville showed me around so a big public shout out to moose and his wife Jennifer thank you for letting me be over here treat me like family Nashville is a wonderful place y'all better stop by here and check it out so I'll leave all of moose's uh, information in the description down below go check him out follow him on Instagram let's get him up to a thousand followers until next time, guys, rock on. You notice my y'all? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Got to work on it, though.